it's uh, been a very long time since I've had a chance to actually uh, sit down at Minecraft and play. So I'm kind of excited here. I did uh, take a couple hours and start a new world that I called Eggnog Land because uh, it's right after got some time off for uh, Thanksgiving and uh, started playing in Eggnog Land because I just bought the first eggnog of the season. So we're going to just kind of play that for a while. Let's show you what I got going on. And, uh, yeah, still in the hidey hole phase. I'm going to take a quick nap. got to reacquaint myself. It's been almost a month since I've been in here. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's what we got going on for supplies and whatnot. Okay, okay. I right, know I got a farm, so I want to go check that out. Make sure it's in good shape. Oh, looks like I've been mining. I know I started a mine shaft. Still working mostly with stone. Nope, there it is. Might as well start smelting you down. So I got one of those. I got some of that. I did get my iron. Real exciting. Watching me getting reacquainted with everything. I know. Do I have sticks? I don't see any sticks. Hmm. Hmm. I guess I gotta go get some wood. Anyway. I need torches too. So I got this cool little biome, like this is uh, one I haven't played in before because I haven't started a world in the later 1.8s yet, but uh, I spawned way up over there and saw this little valley because I saw, I can't really see it here because of how it's rendering, but uh, saw this little cool mountain thing up here. Come check out my farm while we're over here. But I saw that. And I said, I think I need to uh, make my home over here. Because that's pretty epic. And it's got, just keeps going. Haven't really been over there a whole lot. But, uh. It's going to be pretty cool when I do. I do have some, uh. Pumpkins. I'm growing over here. So that's what's going on. One of the pumpkins grew out of control because I still haven't perfected my pumpkin and melon farms yet. I'm still kind of a amateur when it comes to that. So uh, yeah, he fell over and killed one of my tilled lands. So that was fun. So that's that. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I needed some wood, didn't I? So yeah, there's been a whole lot of not much going on. Uh, real life getting in the way of Minecraft, as it tends to do. Uh, real life getting in the way of everything, except uh, you know, real life and jobs. Jobs have a tendency to uh, take up your life if you let them. Because you need electricity and internet connections to really play Minecraft. So, I can't reach it. Oh no. So, you kind of got to go work and uh, to catch 22, really. Because it's like, what are you going to do? But we're back. some wood and there's a sapling. Don't forget you want to replant your stuff. I mean, come on now. Ooh, two saplings. Good. Plant you there. I don't remember exactly where this guy came from, but we'll just stick it right there. Uh, how much wood was that? 16 is good for now. I know. I think I started an animal farm over here. Let's check it out. Oh, there's my mine. I just cut a stair straight down. We'll be heading there soon. I found a ravine. 
I do remember that. And I died, I think, twice in that ravine. Because I'm so used to playing with, you know, diamond armor and everything enchanted. Yes, I have my sheep. Hello, sheep. Mah. A couple of babies, but we can always go with more babies. There we go. Good on food for right now. This guy. No, you can't go out there. We'll go ahead and uh, kill this guy. Where'd I put the door? Yeah, I need to expand that relatively soon. But I got this cool space here, man. I mean, this is like a pretty epic little valley. And uh, I dig it. I dig it. I think it's going to be a good thing for me. Uh, I got some rabbits. Hello. I also got my sugar cane going. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, uh, I need to eat something, that's probably a bad idea. Glad I got rid of that other sheep. There we go. May need to do some more harvesting of my sheep over there. Got another one of those. Maybe two of those. And then I'm also gonna need a new axe. And maybe a shovel or two. I have no plan for uh, these videos here. I'm just kind of freestyling it. Just to warn you up front, we're just playing the game. I want to play, so uh, we're going to play. That's really the entire extent of what's going on here. Probably hear my cats in the background. They are noisy today. I'm not 100% sure why. I think it's the rain. We've had a lot of rain of late. Let's see if we can go. I have plenty of wood right in here. Oh my goodness, why didn't somebody say something? Well, that's fun. Take this, because uh, I want to go mining, so we'll take some of that with me. <coughs> Don't really need the andesite. Let's go ahead and get that guy up. I got plenty of cobble. Uh, gravel's kind of useful, sure. Don't really need the dirt or the granite. Don't need that. Combine, you silly thing. Uh, string? I got enough string. I don't have any chickens yet, so I can't. I'm not gonna build, worry about a bow till uh, till I can get some chickens. Cause two arrows is just not gonna cut it. Can't take anything out with two arrows. Uh, so I don't need that. That's ridiculous. Sticks. I don't need the sticks. If I got wood. I'm going to use the wheat, like right now. Don't need to bring the gold with me. I've got backup torches. Okay, okay. I think I'm set. I do need more food, because uh, one lamb chop is not going to cut it. It just will not. There we go. 
I am going to try and keep this survival. Keep it survival. It's going to be a survival game. I'm just not. There's a server I play with uh, my siblings, the rest of the family. And that's pretty much our creative server. We do all sorts of crazy creative mode command block stuff there. It's fun. Don't get me wrong, it is fun. But it's uh, it's not quite the same, if you ask me. One of those two. Maybe I gotta jump. There we go, that's the problem. Alright, it's getting dark. How much raw meat was that? Five? I think I ran out of torches here. Normally I put, I, I light the stuff up for just such this occasion. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. No, you gotta stay in here. There we go. Not too much light. Alright, so, uh, Seven lamb chops. That's cool. But anyway, the point I was trying to make is survival is kind of... adds more of a challenge for me. You gotta get your own stuff. If you wanna make a certain build, you gotta go out and find the materials and the monsters and whatnot. It's all kind of different rules and stuff you gotta navigate. So, uh, yeah, let's... Ooh. Mutton, not lamb chops. I like that. They're lamb chops, man. I mean, come on. I don't know why I'm so attached to lamb chop, but, uh, it's lamb chops. And some more coal in reserve. That's good. That's good. Let's, uh... Do some farming while those cook. No sense in wasting time. Oop, there's a pumpkin. See, see, I gotta, I gotta redo this. This is just dumb. I'm just not, did not lay this out very well at all. Because uh, I do have a world I play in with my wife, although that's been forever ago. We got a pretty good setup for all our farms there. It's like I figured out the right way to do it, and then I just forget every time I start a new one. But we'll fix that. There is time. There is always time to uh, come back and make it better. That's the beauty of Minecraft. You are totally not committed to anything that you have built. Did I bring the weed? Yes, I did bring the weed. See if these guys have grown up enough yet to breed. And they have not. They still itty bitty little lambs. Going like where? Like, I don't know where the adults went. They're like, it's part of time. That's pretty cool. Okay, so. Go get our food, and let's go mining, because that's it's Minecraft, man. That's the other thing about creative mode, when you're playing in that mode, or with the cheats, and you can just give yourself whatever block you need. You, there's no reason to go down underground. You just don't need to. So you don't. It's like you got other things to do. You start doing crazy machines, or you do giant builds, and it's... That's all you do. You don't go adventuring. And for me, that's the fun part. 
I know not everyone's going to agree. I mean, building's fun. I don't need this. Pumpkin. Every inventory space is valuable. So, uh, I don't really want to use it for a pumpkin. There we go. Slowly upgrading to iron tools as the other ones wear out. Trying to be efficient. Doop -doop -doop. See, I dug this out a little bit. Yeah, I found a ravine almost right away. Just pretty cool. I had a feeling like there's so much going on in this little chunk here. And then I'm just like, there's got to be some kind of ravine. And this is also just like absurdly dangerous. I got to work on my entry level a little bit. There's some gold. I want to dig out the gold right now. I think I do. Lava. I don't have any diamonds yet. I haven't really found any. It's a problem. So I'm hoping if I can dig around here because I'm at uh, I'm at 11. So I'm hoping if I can dig around a little bit. Near this lava pool. burn up all this dirt that I don't really need. I don't know, this doesn't look very... Do you ever get a feel about a spot? It's like this is probably not where we're going to find diamonds. Kind of getting that feel here. So, uh, let's keep looking. So I didn't do a whole lot of exploring. It was a very struggle, very struggle. It was a pretty big struggle for me to get this place safe, really. It's been so long since, uh, there's some more iron. Since I'd actually been able to play, it was like I was just out of practice and I had no supplies and I'm so used to just being able to charge in and uh, do stuff. And it just did not work out. Not even a little bit. But that's okay now, because uh, I think I'm in the right mindset. Stage where nothing is oversupplied. Still need everything. Don't forget, uh, I'm just gonna keep my torches on the right hand side. Oh, good. Tear through this pickaxe too, because I think this is my. Well, I gotta combine it with that other repaired pickaxe. And that'll be my last stone pickaxe, and we can move on to the real stuff. This is hella exciting. But that's really about it. It's uh, the last few months have been tricky. They're starting to settle down, starting to get a nice uh, healthy routine going. And with a little luck, that uh, routine. Involves some Minecraft on a more regular basis. I got ideas, just haven't had time to really explore the ideas on what to do. Oh, this looks interesting back here in that corner.
That's not going to be enough light, but that's okay. We don't know for sure what we're missing until we plug this. Not, not such a big fan of lava. Came down here before. First found this ravine. I jumped in and uh, had a skeleton shoot me into a stream of water that uh, flowed me directly into a pool of lava. So that was a very unhappy moment in the early explorations of this. Ah! I hadn't gotten a bucket yet at that point. Yeah, there you go. I washed out my own torch. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I guess this does a pretty good job with the, with the lighting. We didn't do too bad for a first time through. There we go. Take this guy up. Gonna knock these out because we gotta keep the stair going. I'll need those later when I start actually like building houses and things, but uh, diorite, this granite, and this I don't really need any of it right now. Ooh, a fork. Let's see gold this way, let's check it out. I hear more lava. There's some more gold. Back at the ravine. I don't know what's going on there. That seems a little intense right now. So, uh. Kind of just want to head this way for now. See what this looks like. Uh, it looks like a glitch over there. Yep, there we go. Did not render fully. It looks like we got some more lava. Looks like a sunset, doesn't it? But it is not. You do not see the sunset underground. It is madness. But there is a lava pool, and we are about 18, so. Keep forgetting to look up and around. That oh, one right there. can tell they just generated the chasm right through the vein. It's happened a couple of times. Oh, we doubled back. Well, that's cute. We can go this way. This looks like uh, I see torches. So that leads right back to the... Okay, okay. Leads right back to where we came in. That looks like it's new. Ah, but this is why we carry uh, building materials. Ooh, he scared me. There we go. Yeah, I uh, looked up and there's this little thing and all of a sudden, twing! Okay, that was, that got me awake. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the fun part for me. It's the exploring, it's the crawling around in the caves. I'm starting to wonder if I forgot to set this to regular mode because I hadn't seen any monsters down here. Okay, so this isn't too bad. Some gold, some coal, a little bit of iron. We're doing pretty good here. I think I'll. Uh, You're not going to notice anything because of the magic of video editing, but uh, I'm going to take a quick break and uh, get myself a cup of coffee, and we're going to come back and check this out. So yeah, again, you, you didn't notice anything, but I'm back. Uh, took a quick break, got some coffee, talked to the cats. It's important to talk to your cats. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, they're talking to me. They've done the science on this, actually. The science. 
Yes, I like that phrase. They've done the science where, uh, you know, your cat, the one that you own, that you live with, he talks to you like he talks to no other creature. Like, your best buddy can walk in, and even if your cat's talking to him, or her, I'm using him and her, because, uh, rather than her, because I'm a him, it comes natural, but this applies to everybody. Little disclaimer there for you, but, uh, you know, your cat is talking to you in a certain language. They've got noises that they're using for you that they're trying to train you to understand. Like, they've got a noise for, hey, I'm hungry. they got a noise for, hey, love me. they got a noise for, you know, everything. And it's kind of cool, because like I was starting to say, you're, uh, you get your friend comes over, and they are, they, they, your cat might talk to your friend, but uh, they're using a language for them too. So it's kind of neat. They actually had owners who knew exactly what the cats were trying to tell them. And when they had other people come in and listen to the same sounds, they the other people got it all wrong. So, uh, one of the story is, yeah, you're talking to your cat. You guys are communicating, whether you realize it or not. So, had a quick chat with the kitties. Is this something? I mined that out. Okay. Got some coffee, and uh, we don't want to keep doing that just yet. If see, I always have a, a picture of my audience for Minecraft videos as being on the young side, like not old enough to drink coffee. But then again, I I'm almost almost thirty. I just turned 30 this year, and I'm, I watch Minecraft videos, so uh, I'm just going to throw this tip out there. It's the holiday season, you run out of milk for whatever reason, you still got to put something in your coffee. Eggnog does work. That may seem like a no-brainer to some of you out there, but uh, it worked. I did that out of desperation last week, week before. Eggnog comes early to my house. Ooh, you go down in this cave. I didn't think about that when we came through earlier. Let's do that. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it would be a hot mess, but it was not. Ooh. Speaking of hot messes, there is a lot going down here. I personally hate these because they're so easy to get lost in. And it's so hard to be efficient at it. Like losing track of where you've been, where to go next. That's all very easy to do down here, and I don't like that. Because you got 8,000 openings all over the place. Anyway. Water. Ooh, lapis. I've not found lapis. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is early in the morning. I have not... Oh, is that what I think it is? Lapis and diamonds, friends. Lapis and diamonds. That's beautiful. Three diamonds right there. That is... Oh, yeah. We are on the road now. Okay. Let's, uh... I actually think that's a pretty good point to, uh wrap this first one up. Oh, four diamonds. Look at that. That's beautiful. This is... I got plenty of room still, too, so uh, I don't think I'm done, but I think this is a good time to wrap up this episode, uh, especially since I got, like, high encoding warnings out the wazoo. But, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to I guess you could call it a new series. I'm not going to commit to uh, posting on a schedule here, because that apparently is when everything falls apart for me. So uh, I'm just going to do this and kind of record when I play, and then I'll post them every so often. 
as I go. Try to keep it about a half hour or so. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Diamonds. You guys are good luck. So you're definitely coming along with me. I got diamonds. I can finally get some redstone going. It's going to be good stuff. Hopefully you uh, want to come along for the ride and have a good time. So, until next time, watch them creepers.